All right, uh, next fly I'm going to tie is going to be a, another cicada pattern. Uh, this one's a little easier than the Fat Albert to tie, <coughs> and it seems to work. Um, seems to work about as well. So I've got probably more of these in my box than I do the Fat Albert, um, just because they're easier to tie. So I'm tying this again on a size eight uh, dry fly hook, short shank dry fly hook. Um, this one's going to be a different color. This one's going to be black. Um, and so I've cut a piece of foam that's about twice the length of the twice the length of the hook, and I've tapered the top part of the foam, which is what I'm going to tie down right at the right behind the eye of the hook. Okay, and we're just going to secure that part down. Now, as we work our way back, we're going to segment the body. So make a few wraps back towards the tail of the hook, and then a couple wraps over the foam. And then same thing. We're going to do the best we can to make each of these segments roughly the same size. And one more at the tail. Alright, there we go. Okay, now we're going to move the thread back up the hook. So I'm going to go over the top of my back segment. And then I'm going to go over the top of the next segment. That way it doesn't change the look of the way the segment does from the bottom from underneath the fly. And we're going to take our foam and we're going to pull it over the top. A couple wraps to secure that down. We're going to grab a Use a piece of poly yarn. This piece of poly yarn is quite a bit longer than what I would actually need, but it shouldn't matter for this fly. Tie it down in the middle. A couple wraps, and then pull it back. And at this point, on this fly, I'm actually going to add a little bit of flash to the wing. And so I've got probably five or six strands of um, pearl flash. Tie that in. And next we'll need a small piece of foam. And I'm using yellow foam in this case because that's gonna gonna make this fly a lot easier to see. This black is hard to see on the water, so you want to make sure you put a bright colored foam on top. And that is the only purpose of this foam is so that we can see our fly. I guess it also helps to push the wing back. And now we're gonna tie in rubber legs. So on each side of the fly, we're using black using black rubber legs in this one. Tie it in on one side. And then do the same thing on the other. Okay. Make sure you make probably make two or three tight wraps when you get down with that so that the legs are secured down. And now we're going to take and move our thread up again and do the same thing. First of all, tie down um, tie down the foam. And then your rubber leg. Okay, there we go. Now take your thread and move it up behind the eye of the hook and try to slip in a little whip finish. And now trim off all the excess. So start with the wing. 
and trim it back to about the butt of the fly. Trim off this piece of yellow foam, which got a little bit long. And if you have to trim the the front part of your black foam, do that now. And then usually my legs are a little bit long, so I like to snip a little bit off at each of those legs. And that's all there is to it. That's that's a it's a really good fly. It's just an easy little black um, cicada pattern. I'll show you what it looks like from the top and what it looks like from the bottom. That's all there is to it.